Hello, I'm Randall M. Packer, Secretary at Large of the U.S. Department of Art and Technology, coming to you via Skype from my studio in Washington, D.C. I'm preparing for the premiere of our multimedia opera, A Season in Hell, my farewell and last testament to America. It's a 10 year effort. It's a decade's worth of work that's been brought together as an epic narrative that chronicles a very difficult time in American history. When I moved to Washington, uh, it was it was a rather, um, let's just say, uh, difficult time for me as an artist uh, because I had been living in San Francisco for most of my life and so I had to figure out what in the world was I going to do with myself as an artist in Washington DC of all places. So I thought about it and I came up with the idea that I would create my own virtual government agency the U.S. Department of Art and Technology, and it was a way for me to critique the political situation from the artist's perspective. After Bush was re-elected, I decided that I would take a rather deeper look at the political situation, and so I came up with the idea of an opera that was modeled after Dante's Inferno in which I would descend into the underworld of America and observe and document the unfolding crisis. When 9-11 came along and I was already working on the project, I knew that this was my calling. I knew that it was necessary as an artist to make a statement about how artists could mediate conditions, especially conditions such as were unfolding after 9-11. I think the most important thing is that I teamed up with one of my oldest and dearest friends, Charles Lane, who's a singer and tenor. He sings with the Los Angeles Opera. And we began to work on A Season in Hell by traveling around the country, staging site-specific performances. And the idea was to take these performances into places and locations that were particularly volatile during these years between 2005 and 2007. Charles is Orf and the character Orf is based on the legend of Orpheus and we we felt that Charles as my guide, as the guide for the secretary, was really modeled after the notion of using the power of music and the power of the voice to gain entrance into the underworld, uh, to be able to go places where where mortals couldn't go. It's all consuming. It's, it's the biggest project I've ever done. We are just now having our first rehearsals at a studio in Oakland. It's part theater and part installation. Uh, it really converges uh, the notion of uh, multiple video projections and surround sound with a theatrical space. We want the audience to feel immersed in this journey through the underworld. And so we are exploring ways that we can create multiple layers of video projection in addition to surround sound with speakers that, that surround the audience and move the sound around in, in very dynamic ways. And so the, the idea is to really take the audience on a ride, on a very uh, tumultuous and uh, rather uh, disturbing ride through uh, through the underworld. The Secretary at Large is on quite a journey. He is completely brought down emotionally, psychologically, artistically by the challenge of confronting these times of crisis and, and, and trying desperately to express his feelings, to express his reaction, his response to the crisis. And I'm not going to reveal the ending, but let's just say that, that the uh, hopelessness that he feels at the beginning changes 
um, as a result of his journey at the end of the work. And it's a reminder, it's a reminder that, that we can never forget how close we came to the edge of the abyss uh, during this past decade. And I think that it's, it's an important message, it's an important political message, it's an important human message about how, how the artist struggles to, to um, make a statement about conditions and the human conditions during times of crisis. The 2010-01 SJ Biennial runs September 16th through 19th in venues throughout downtown San Jose and in satellite locations in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. For more on the 01 SJ Biennial, visit 01sj.org. The 01 SJ Biennial is produced by 01, the Art and Technology Network.